Welcome back, everyone, and I'm here again with SBR contributor Ross Benjamin, and today we're going to cover that NHL game between the LA Kings and the Anaheim Ducks. Now, bookies are favoring the Ducks with a minus 110 money line, while the total was set at five goals. How are you doing this morning, Ross? Doing very well, Dex. How about yourself, my man? I'm doing awesome. All right, so while I was reading your article, you kind of indicated the fact that this is going to be a premier goaltending matchup, but what did you mean by that exactly? Well, the Kings, Jonathan Quick, his reputation precedes him. He's developed into the one, one of the best goaltenders in the world over the last three seasons. We all know how clutch he's been in the playoffs over the last three years. However, his performance in the early part of the year has been nothing short of sensational. He's compiled a superb .943 save percentage in two shutouts in 13 starts this season. On the other hand, the Ducks' Frederick Anderson has been one of the surprise goaltenders in the early part of the year. The native of Sweden has posted a stellar .943 save percentage and has earned two shutouts in 10 starts. The Ducks have gone under the total in each of the six home games in which Anderson has been their starter. All right, so that actually makes sense because you also indicated that both of these teams have been involved in several low-scoring affairs. Now, can you please elaborate on that a bit for us? Well, the Kings have only gone over the total in four of their first 15 games this season. They've allowed two goals or less in nine of their previous 13 games. This will be just their sixth road game of the season, and they've gone over the number just one of the previous five. The Ducks have remarkably gone under the total in their last 12 games. They're suffering a recent goal-scoring drought that's seen them score just 12 goals over their last eight games, and they've allowed only 20 goals over their last 12 games. So I hope that clarifies uh, how each team has played low-scoring affairs for the most part this season. Without a doubt, man. Now, I know you have one of these cool betting systems, you know, to establish which is going to be the best pick here. Now, are we going to be focusing on an over and under play or maybe a money line play for this one? Now, we're going to focus on a total, Dex. The Kings are coming off a 5-1 to one win over division rival Vancouver in their previous game. They've started the season by going 8-7 and seven against the money line, and that equates to a .533 win percentage. Anytime you have a team like the Kings playing in the first half of the season and they're coming off a win by three goals or more versus a, versus a division opponent, and they have a money line winning percentage of between 450 to 550, they've seen 47 of those 65 games stay under the total over the past five seasons. That's good for 72.3% favoring the under. We're going to take the Kings, Ducks under the total of five this evening in the NHL, Dex. I knew you had one of those cool betting systems for us. All right, Ross, as always, my man, it's a pleasure talking hockey with you, and I look forward to doing this again tomorrow. Pleasure's all mine, Dex. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. And for SBR Picks today, this is Dax Floyd. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.